So here we have the Skoda Octavia VRS on an 18 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door estate car with 19 inch alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, loads of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, and then this vinyl boot liner, uh, which would have been an extra on this car. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. And now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's where we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. We have the rev counter on the left and the speedometer on the right-hand side, as well as the fuel gauge. You can change the information that's displayed in that central section by using controls on the steering wheel. So we're on the kind of driving data menu at the moment, but there are other menus available to you. You can see assist systems navigation, audio, telephone, and vehicle, and then back round to the beginning again. And the buttons that I was using to do that are on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. Uh, to uh, the left-hand side here on the indicator stalk, we've got cruise control. Uh, you can turn it on and off from the top here and then set it from the buttons on the side. In the middle, we have the touchscreen for the car, which includes satellite navigation, a really nice clear color display as you can see we have our music so that is the radio option gives you DAB FM and AM if you want to listen to your own music you can do and again you've got plenty of ways in which you can do that uh, once you pair up your phone you'll be able to stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio and you pair your phone under the phone heading just here and then hit find telephone and other things like for example nav are accessed there various bits of car information you can find from here as well below that we have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature and the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, your air conditioning is on at the minute. So off, back on again. Or hit auto. The car will now take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain those temperatures you've asked for. You can override that whenever you like. We have USB input underneath that, as well as some storage just here. And you can open and close this section, as you can see. We have some buttons uh, here as well. Uh, so you can turn off traction control. Parking sensors, you can turn those on and off. This one will turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. I've just turned that system off. We can turn the deadlocks on and off from the car. We can put VRS mode. will enable you to put the car in eco, normal, sport, or individual and under individual you can customize the car in all of these different ways for example if you want the engine sound to sound sporty but everything else to be normal you can do that we then have a six-speed manual gearbox all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive please feel free to call us here at Mac one cars we'd love to hear from you soon